Welcome back. So if you just happened to tune in, this is Rise and Shine, your favorite morning show. Well, prior to uh, music, we did mention that we'll be having a very young author with us um, who has uh, written a, a, her book, um, which is to do with poetry. Now, poetry is something which people love, which we all love uh, reading and which has a deep meaning behind every single uh, poem people write. So uh, joining with us today is a very young author. Um, who is uh, Ms. Chatushki Jayasingha and who has taken her roots back from um, the veteran journalist and the uh, cartoon artist, um, Mr. Thalangama Jayasingha, who is uh, her grandfather, who is a veteran in the uh, field of uh, journalism. And this is where the roots sort of began. A very good morning to each other. Good morning. Yes. So um, could you tell us, now being a very young author could you just tell us a bit about your background where did you school and how old are you um so i'm chatushki jai singha um, i'm 21 years old uh, currently i'm an undergraduate at university of sri javadanapura uh, i had uh, my education up to all levels at vidura college in avala uh, and i did my a levels at devibarika vidyalaya Right. Um, so poetry is something that um, not everybody uh, would come into writing because everybody surely enjoys poetry. But when it comes to writing uh, so poetry, not everybody would be uh, very interested or rather creative or talented in it. So how did it come up to you, um, Chatu? Like where did it all start? Uh, well, there is like a few reasons. Uh, firstly, uh, when I was very young, uh, I, I started writing and uh, my grandmother and my mother, who are both teachers, uh, they were behind me, supporting me, like always encouraging and telling me where to, you know, get things right, like how to improve, where to improve and all those. So uh, that support was there. Uh, and especially the school platform was there. They always uh, gave us opportunities to showcase our skills. Uh, so I was uh, into drama script writing and I did basic small stories. Uh, that was there. And uh, for this book especially, it was my grandfather who put this idea into my head uh, because uh, I had written poems, uh, like 21 poems by then, and he was like, why not publish this, since you have a collection now. So that was how it was. Yeah, I think it's really wonderful uh, to have um, a relative like that who support uh, this kind of passion, because uh, very rarely people um, encourage these kind of um, talents, isn't it, Virginia? That's right. I mean, uh, people have various kind of talents. So now your uh, grandfather who's being a veteran in the field of journalism. Yeah. Did you actually get the um, passion towards this from the roots or how, how did the passion actually just come across or did you ever think okay I'll be an author? Um, uh, well actually I was very much into reading. I was a bookworm. Uh, so <laughs> Okay, there you go. <laughs> she Which is definitely that. a good thing. Yeah, <laughs> it is good. Uh, so I read and then I thought why not write uh, so I just started writing small small things and like people found them interesting and creative uh, my friends my relatives they found them like up to a standard so they told me to do this All right. so um, uh, you said uh, you uh, college in two schools yeah so um, uh, how was the support from uh, your college level towards poetry um, what, what kind of support uh, did they render towards uh, your passion uh, actually, I started writing poetry between a span of six months. Uh, before that, I was just writing, you know, novels and stories. Uh, from the school, my teachers, especially the literature teachers, they were uh, Mrs. Uh, Miss Dilrukshi and uh, Flavia Miss. Both of them were very supportive. Uh, and uh, my headmistress, uh, Pinna Goda Madam, uh, she was like she was behind this. She was always telling me you're creative in this field So go in that go after your passion. Don't go into the maths or the science streams I think no. your teachers must be really proud to see you right here. And <laughs> yes, I think uh, that is one good advice that um, 
you are bringing out to the entire country because a lot of people uh, what they do is they uh, go on the common uh, the very formally assort, like assorted uh, stream but you have chosen your passion and I think that's the kind of uh, motivation that we should be giving out to all the younger generation and um, that's right and um, with the necessary support that uh, Shatha you have uh, got from your teachers your parents and everyone in your family and everyone who has helped you out has I think uh, taken you to this next level at a very young age and um, also now coming into um, poetry I'm sure you must have uh, read so many other um, famous uh, personalities articles yeah. and um, journals so uh, is there any particular um, famous author that you would like to talk mm -hmm. about in terms of international and local arena? In terms of poetry maybe, uh, I like Edward Lear and you know Robert Frost, they go for a much positive aspect which is what I want to do uh, because most of the poets and they write poems which have a much melancholy aspect. They want to express their sad feelings and the readers, they read it, they can sort of, uh, you know, they do relate to them, but then again they depress themselves, so that is not what I want. So what I want to feel in the poems, I write. So basically you have taken a different aspect to make it all positive, so yeah. people will get a positive message. Yes. Yes. So uh, I think that is, uh, on that note, I think it's a very good thing that you're doing because even I can remember, I even, I did uh, English literature when I was uh, going back in school and when I read poems, yes, it was kind of very saddening and very <laughs> depressing. And I think what you're doing is very good. And uh, what, uh, another question that I got, so what is the inspiration uh, that you use uh, for your uh, poems? What kind of things that uh, do get you inspired? And what is the process of uh, your poetry writing? Like how long does it take for you to complete one of your works? Uh, it doesn't take much time though. Uh, like. I bring out some problem in the society and then I relate it in a storytell manner or whatever manner and by the end of it, uh, like once you're done with it, you will either, there will be two options, you will either be happy with who you are or else you'll like question yourself and you'll know what to do next. So basically the process is basically like you take the, um, the reader from a sad note to a positive note, how yeah. things could be... I'm trying to do that. Trying to do yeah. that, so how um, a sad note could be taken eventually into a positive aspect yeah. and, you know, make it positive and be optimistic yes. in their day-to-day -day lives. And also now, um, is there a particular meaning about illumination or your book says illumination? Yeah. So is there a particular um, meaning behind this? Uh, um, illumination poem? means light, simply. Uh, so, once you read it, you will be illuminated. <laughs> wow. So, uh, I have another question. So, all the poems uh, in this book, are they um, related uh, to any kind of incident or any uh, inspirational situation uh, which was related to your life or um, what was actually based for this book? What kind of um, things were the base for this book? Uh, not related to my life, but the problems that I saw in the society maybe, like s really small things that caught my attention. So I just meddled with the words. All right. Yeah. So uh, I, I think uh, everybody should be uh, reading this book uh, if they want to have a, like a deeper meaning for their life and uh, to see who they are. So uh, is there a, an online version of this book because everybody is online? Uh, or are you planning on uh, uh, starting something like that? Uh, because uh, poetry, I think this is a very good uh, subject and the thing that you're doing, taking uh, social uh, problems and taking it uh, on a poetic level, yeah. I think that would be very, very um, useful when it comes to online because I think Every day, I think people are really uh, keen on uh, doing something. Are you having plans any uh, of that sort or uh, start of any blog or something? I have uh, a Facebook page, not for the book, uh, called Think or Not. Okay. Like anybody can send poems to that, and uh, I'll be publishing those. All right. Yeah. Okay, I think that is something really good. Uh, That's right. <coughs> yes, yes, I think for the community, yeah. for all the poets around, I think poets that is one uh, good thing. So they can use it as a platform, exactly. and uh, they can. Uh, publish it out, I mean post it out there where Chatha will be publishing on behalf of them and um, Chatha now talking about your 
book um, you did mention that it took a very short time for you to um, you know put this all together combine it all together yeah. and uh, publish it out there so how long did it, did this entire process take and who are the key people behind to help you out to publish it um, it was in a, within a span of six months uh, I wrote these within a span of six months and uh, it took another month maybe to get it all done in terms of designing and everything yeah. together uh, my father designed the covers oh, wow. so okay. yeah. um, um, my grandfather was the main pillar behind this because of the support and then my parents uh, because of especially the financial support and then the encouragement uh, and then my relatives and my friends who helped me a lot uh, yeah and uh, how has the responses been after you published this um, when your relatives and your friends that they got very to know positive okay uh, they encourage me a lot so they want me to write a novel next and I'm working on it as well yeah, right. so, so uh, uh, what is your future plan are you planning on being an author completely since you just uh, said that you're yeah. starting on your next novel so there you go everybody <laughs> you all can wait for that uh, so, are you planning on uh, being an author or do you have any higher plans uh, when it comes to your life? Uh, actually, uh, I said I'm an undergraduate at yes. the University of Sri Javadanpura, so I'm uh, doing English literature as a major subject. Uh, so, in terms of uh, academics, I want to uh, become a lecturer or a professor <laughs> in English. Uh, so, as a part-time, maybe I'll continue being an author. All right, so yeah. wonderful. I think Sri Lanka uh, can look forward for a lot uh, of poetry <laughs> and some novels from uh, Chaturshki. So I have uh, one more question. Uh, so uh, do you have uh, what, uh, what kind of, uh, what sort of uh, authors from Sri Lanka have inspired you uh, in your uh, line of work, apart from your gran uh, uh, relatives, your grandfather and father? Uh, uh, are there any uh, Sri Lankan authors who have inspired you uh, in this process? Uh, yes, uh, Elmo Javadana, uh, his books are really nice, uh, and um, and Ranasinghe in terms of poetry. Oh, yeah. And also, is, it, is there a particular stream that you follow, like, okay, is it only you're limiting yourself to English or you are planning uh, to continue it in uh, Singhali, Singhali I as have, well? I have tried writing uh, a few poems in Singhala as well. I'm not very sure whether I'm really good at it though. So in uh, the process of uh, yeah. <laughs> taking it pause, maybe in the near future we could see, um, you know, Singhalaya poems as well from uh, Chatu. Yes, I think um, the easy way is the best way and uh, the best way to communicate is the easiest way for you to communicate. So I think uh, we can look forward for a lot of English poems <laughs> in That's the right. future. And an Eng uh, I'm sure uh, the novel that you're writing is an English one, is it? Yeah. All right. So, uh, have you have you started on it? Or I've like nearly completed it. Um, can we have a little bit of uh, information on that book, or is it going to be a complete surprise? <laughs> a surprise. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, um, so what is the message that yeah. you have uh, for the future poets in Sri Lanka? Because I'm sure there's a lot of uh, young and aspiring uh, poets just poets, like yeah. you who are being. Uh, I'm sure who don't have grandfathers and fathers just like you were not yeah. fortunate as that. So for that uh, sort of uh, people, what is the message that you would love to give? Um, follow your dream. Uh, like, go after it. Uh, don't listen to the negative society. Just do what you want and you'll succeed. Yes, definitely. so definitely do what you want and go with their passion you yeah. know go go um, follow your pathway and follow your passion so you will definitely uh, succeed like Chatu has at a very young age being 21 and Chatu also now um, in the upcoming uh, book fair at uh, BMICH yeah. I'm sure um, you're planning to uh, put out your books as well so if for the people who are interested to buy um, this book how can they do it? Uh, they, the books are available uh, in uh, Hall B of uh, in Hall B uh, in the stalls 89, 90 and 91 of Surya Publications. Okay. Uh, the book exhibition will be starting on the 15th of September. So basically on uh, 15th Friday. of September, that's yeah. on a Friday, yeah. okay. 
and uh, Chatu, would you like to sort of um, select one of your own uh, <laughs> poems and read it out for uh, or maybe one of your favorite poems? Okay. For, uh, yes. Yeah. Um, a small one. Yes. Mm. Uh, so I was inspired to write this after watching Beauty and the Beast <laughs> because uh, there was a song at the beginning and uh, there was a line for who could ever learn to love the beast. So the poem goes as this. Uh, Belle was a beast in her own way, different, independent, a freak you may. The beast on the other hand, though fierce and wild, was a burr at heart, quite warm and mild. She looked through her and found a kind heart. She looked through him and found the same art. Both found a fresh ray of beauty where they looked, leading to a love so strong they hooked. Thus they made merry and held a feast, for both could, beyond question, love a beast. Wow. wow. Yes, I that think. Was that's wonderful. Uh, early in the Thank morning, you. so rise and shine. There you go. The sort of inspiration and the sort of poetic life that you need to have thanks to Chatu. And I think uh, in the future, we could uh, see Chatu's works uh, hopefully in the Sri Lankan education system where we That's learn right. the yes. literature. Yes, I think uh, you could go for that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, finally, I just want to ask, uh, who would you like to thank for uh, in this journey so far? So for 21 years, you are, you're at very young age and I think uh, you're going to be having a very successful life in front of you. So. Uh, who uh, would you like to thank for and what is the message that you have to finally give to entire Sri Lanka because entire Sri Lanka is watching? Um, I'd like to thank my parents, uh, my grandfather and uh, Kalakirti Dr. Edwin Aryadasa who wrote an introduction for this. Uh, my, uh, the, uh, the people who printed this, the global print shop uh, Bhattar Mulla. Uh, and my friends and relatives for all the support they gave me, uh, which they continue to give me. Uh, so the message is, I already gave the message, uh, <laughs> just read the book and illuminate yourselves. Wow, wonderful. Yes, wonderful so it, it's, it's a Tuesday morning That's and right. one thing you could do, illuminate yourself, get yourself up <laughs> and get yourself some light. Thanks to Chatu Jai, Chatu Shiki Jai Singh. That's right. So thank you very much, uh, uh, Chatu, for joining us uh, on the Tuesday's uh, edition of Rise and Shine and giving a wonderful message out to all our viewers. Um, there you go, a very young author at the age of 21 who has written her own book. Um, and you could obviously purchase uh, this at the BMICH uh, bookstore at uh, hall number B. And that's stall numbers 89, 90 and 91. So, uh, um, and thank you both of you, you conduct this really well and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity.